Every week, we scour the internet to find the most amazing, creative, and jaw-dropping content developed in Unity. This is Game Dev HQ, and enjoy the best of made with Unity. All right, so we got uh, Thomas, uh, did a little ice shader. Awesome, looks good, looks clean. Feels like it's got some subsurface scattering going on. I really like it. Um, you know, eight out of 10, looks good. Ah, uh, Pyrolith, uh, feedback, make a combat system more complex. I think he's got something here. I, I like this. I, uh, I think the movements are a little stiff still, but he's definitely got a unique style and feel to his game. Um, it, there may need to be a little more fluidity, but uh, overall, I, I think he's definitely on the right place, uh, right way. Uh, let, let's let's say uh, six out of ten, um, just because of the graphics. I think it still needs some more polish, but looking good. Uh, Kevin Anderson, um, I like the slow poly feel. Uh, it looks fun, um, a little floaty with the gravity, uh, but overall, I, I think it looks pretty cool. Um, go seven out of ten right now little gator game um you know this gives me a wind waker uh feels right here uh, a lot of the fluidity a lot of the movement uh we featured it several times before um it, it has potential i i'm curious to see what the end product is um i i i don't know there's some areas where shadows could really help or some sort of ambient occlusion to kind of soft things up uh but um you know, if that's the style you're going for, that's the style you're going for. But uh, yeah, you know, uh, seven, six and a half, six and a half, seven, seven out of ten, seven out of ten. There we go. Damn. Now this, this is polish right here. This looks really good. Uh, really clean. Oh, portals. Are you kidding me? Uh, this is, this is beautiful, guys. This is, this is really beautiful work. This is a game that uh, even if it's a demo, uh, you know, it, it has a lot of potential. Uh, I, I give that eight and a half, nine out of ten. Really good work right there. Let's see. Um, Mr. Sleeping Man says the most offensive crime is not following the five second rule. Dude, if, if it's edible, just and it's not like slimy and sticky, just just pick it up and eat it, man. I mean, <laughs> let's just be honest here. Uh, looks good. I, I like it. Uh, I mean, we're, we're pretty simple right now. We're not going into too much depth, so you know, I'm not gonna you know really go too far into it. But it looks good. Uh, I like what you got going right there uh hurley burley studios man this is this is nice I, i'm wondering if this is a kit but if it is a kit it doesn't matter because it, it looks really really clean really really nice um it looks like a good setup for a horror game it looks like a good setup for an action game um i'm digging it i'm digging it uh i think you could walk a little faster but you got some good ray casting good lights looks like hdrp you got flashing lights in and out man, I, I mean put this next to unreal you wouldn't know the difference uh great work um I, I give it eight and a half out of ten. I, I'd love to see some mechanics, but nice work. Oh, I'm working on a guardian. Ooh, I like this. Ooh, it looks like um, he's using the uh, animation rigging system to to set up procedural animation movements. Oh, oh, I like, I like a lot. Oh, th and that's gonna make life a lot easier. Uh, easy eight out of ten. Mika Mobile. I had the 2D version of this on my phone. So to see them doing the 3D version, I'm excited. Uh, yeah, this looks solid. It Here's the thing. It looks fun. It, even with all the elements, it's still got to be built out. It looks fun. I, I, I definitely give this an 8 out of 10. Let's see. We got a little promo of their new Riding Seas game. Looks clean. Uh, brings me back to some early N64 games uh, with a lot more, of course, polished look today. Um you know a little wave waker kind of thing I, I dig it you got all the things there um I, i'm assuming just because of the capture quality that the frame rate's a little low but overall man i mean this is a solid looking game um is it coming out it should be what a pc uh i'm not sure ios something like that but um no i mean even if it's on steam it'd be a good one to pick up uh let's see available on steam yeah awesome work man good work uh, eight, eight, eight and a half eight, i'm not a big into the racing games anyway but but if i was definitely test it out um so so this is hysteria i, I like this game i've seen this I've, I've demoed this a lot on best of i think it's going to do really well um i'm hoping that the networking capabilities keep up to the the graphics and the par of what you got going on but yeah i, I love this i, I want to keep seeing more of this um uh, eight out of ten eight and a half out of ten 
Oh, Race League. This is something that we've been looking at for the last oh a year, year and a half. Uh, this is going to be epic. This is, to me, um, you know, uh, I mean, you're, it's not Forza. It's not uh, uh, Gran Turismo. But it doesn't need to be. It, it, it could still be a great racing game, even without, like, the AAA company uh, backing of it. So, oh, and they got a track editor? This is uh, going to be fun. You know, I mean, if they just make sure that this stays fun and uh, and laid back, I, I, honestly, I think it's going to do great. Um, it's got a great look to it. it. It's detailed, but it's not hyper realistic. So there's a lot of room here to, to still have fun with it. Um, definitely nine out of ten. I, I can't wait to play this game. I think it's going to be really good. Power Court is a new one, huh? This looks pretty. What? What? Is... Hold on. Is this a fighting game about music? Oh, it's a card game. All right, I can see this. Oh, this is a neat idea. I love the graphics. I, I love that it's got that kind of a uh, um, Borderlands 3 type of outline tomb sketch drawing, but it still holds a lot of detail. It's bright. It's colorful. I, I, I dig this. I, it, this has potential. Let, let, I'm going with a 8 out of 10 just because we're just swapping through cards, but I want to see more of this in the future. This one, this one just gives me this like Escher type of feel. Surreal Nest, uh, Neutral Nest is what it's called. Uh, this this one is going to be kind of like a sleeper hit, guys. I mean, this is weird, but weird in a good way, and and I think it could blow a lot of people away. Um, damn, it looks like it's got this great first person perspective, some really good puzzle elements. I'm excited. I want to see more of this one. I, I think this could be one of those uh, really interesting sleeper hits that we talk about later that was made in Unity. So that would be cool. Um, Terra Unity, great work, beautiful. Uh, you got these landscapes down, 8 out of 10. Looks fantastic. Hell Glider. Ooh, we've been seeing a lot more of these kind of like uh, crazy uh, shooters, first person shooters. It, this looks pretty good. Um, I don't know about the hand controls and the arm controls. You could see kind of like the arm is like not actually holding the rocket launcher and it's disjointed, but um, it'd be interesting to see what they do with it. Uh, fluidity, motion, I give it, you know, six and a half, seven, uh, but good work. Um, Will Punch, man, I've been seeing stuff coming out of him for a while and uh, this game looks great. The combo system looks great. I, I love this super combo kind of thing. Great work, man. Eight out of ten. Uh, Cadabra Games, uh, nice overhead, top-down uh, type of diablo S type of game, digging it. Um, got some, it looks like a pet system, maybe even like a spell system to it as well. Awesome work, 8 out of 10. Uh, loop the Game, ooh, this is beautiful. I've never really seen this, this, this kind of, uh, is this like a co-op game or... No, it, it, I'm not sure if this is a co-op or you have like a, a, a partner that you control, but this is, looks really nice. It looks very peaceful, but it's still very inventive. Um, yeah, this is this is gorgeous. This this looks like something that was created by the, the developers of Journey on, on PlayStation. It's, it's beautiful. Wow, good work. Um, I have never seen this before. This is the first time I featured it, so... Uh, yeah, definitely. 10 out of 10, man. Uh, great, great work. Uh, I want to see more. I, I want to see how this one does, because because this deserves to do well. Let's see. Terror Dome. Uh, oh, it looks like they're they're taking uh, characters from uh, major uh, folklore, creepypastas, turning them into fighters. Interesting concept. It looks like it's got a great combo system, hit system, hit detection system. Why not give it a try? Um, looks like it's out on Steam already. Eh, let's give it a plug. I mean, um, 8 out of 10. I mean, it looks pretty cool. I just don't know how strong fighting games are nowadays, but it looks really good. Divine Studios, of course, 10 out of 10. I, I featured this maybe like 100 times, I feel like, at this point. This thing's going to be badass. Um, it's beautiful. It, the, the combat's fluid. The, the uh, particles are on point. The shaders are on point. Uh, there's just so much good in what I'm seeing right now, and it's definitely going to give me the, uh, the, the, the this Devil May Cry type of uh, action that's going to happen with it. It's going to be incredible. Uh, 10 out of 10, of course, and uh, I, I'm looking forward to seeing this game placed. 
Danny over here has got this amazing, beautiful look, a Breath of the Wild type of animation, uh, really clean, nice shaders, nice particle effects, nice explosions. Um, I like it. I'd add some camera shake uh, to this, you know, if you, especially if you're doing Cinema Machine, throw some signals in there to, to get some camera shakes going. But overall, man, it's looking pretty good. I, I, I'm interested to see what's going to happen. Um, eight and a half out of ten. Uh, drive the game, of course, 10 out of 10. Looks beautiful. Always beautiful. Great mechanics. Great look. Um, guys got to check it out if you haven't played it yet. Um, and, and sometimes I like these simple things like uh, Lilac Sky making this uh, shader for the book model. Just something simple, something clean, something really well done. Uh, it's beautiful, man. I mean, you don't have to build a game to show us that you have skill. You just got to show us your skill. Um, you know, 8 out of 10 could work. Um, it's, hopefully, maybe you could turn it into a plugin and get it up on the store. So that, that's it for this week, guys. I, I definitely like what I saw. I thought Loop was probably the most fascinating piece that I saw this week. Uh, I'm really excited about that. I may even want to go check it out and see when it's going to come out and hopefully reach out to the developers on that because that thing looks absolutely sick um anyways uh, i hope you guys liked it put your scores down on what you think was the best uh piece that you saw this week and uh i'll see you again next week take care